how to create a sales funnel in Wix. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video, I'm gonna be bringing you with a very good topic. And in this topic, we're gonna be discussing on how you can create very own sales page or sales funnel on Wix. So it's gonna be extremely simple and it's gonna be extremely fun to make. So please do make sure to watch this video till the end and listen to all the information that I have to provide you with because if you do that properly and if you follow me till the end, then I guarantee you that by the end, you're gonna fully know how you're gonna create a sales page or a sales funnel on Wix. So basically to get started, obviously what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to come to Wix. And how are you gonna to come to Wix? Obviously you're gonna go in the URL tab and you're gonna write www.websiteworldmedia.com slash Wix, okay, and enter it. And once you do that, obviously it's gonna bring you to the whole sign up page for Wix, okay? And let's say you don't want to, you know, do the whole writing, uh, the whole URL and stuff, like you don't wanna do that. Perfect understandable just go to the description and at the top of the description you're going to see a link okay and it's going to be the same link so just click on it and be redirected to this page and once you're over here obviously it's going to ask you to enter your email to start signing up and that's what we're going to do but before that let's go ahead and discuss the wix pricings okay so we're going to come here we're going to discuss the pricings real quick and uh, obviously we're going to go with the free plan of course but uh, there are also other plans that you can go with right now i'm going to go with the free trial like there's there is no problem proper free plan but we're gonna go with the trial so as you can see these are the plans you can check them out for yourselves but yeah let's go start straight in now I'm gonna basically uh, use a temp mail for this video for my own reasons but I don't recommend that you do this you can use like a proper Gmail I would recommend that you use a proper email like you know Gmail Hotmail Yahoo etc and uh, once you you know enter your email go ahead with the password and everything so I'm just gonna add that as so and uh, once you add that, you're gonna type your password in again, you know, real quick. And once we do that, from there on out, what's gonna happen is we're gonna start to the editorial bit. Now, obviously we're gonna, you know, head straight into it and we're gonna come here. So let's see and set you up with the right tools. First, who are you creating your actual website for? Obviously it's for yourself. So we're gonna do that, click on continue. And what kind of websites are you creating? Obviously, uh, it's a sales page. So you could write, you know, a sales, per let's just go with sales and click on next. Now, once you go with that, what's the name of your store? You can change it anytime, you know, enter your store name. Uh, let's say I'm going to call it sales funnels. I'm just going to call it that click on next. And once you go there, what do you want to add to your website? You know, you have all these things. So you have online store, chat, forums, Instagram feed, and you have all these things that you can add. These are all, you know, features, blogs, and widgets that you can add to your website just to have a better look and a better optimized website for now i'm not going to add any extras because you can you can add them later pretty simple and once you do that here you can see continue setting up in your dashboard and we're going to head straight to my dashboard okay now once you head straight to your dashboard it's just you know easy from there because uh, pretty simple stuff comes on further on now obviously if we load into the dashboard let's talk about uh, you know more in that stuff and uh, obviously you have uh, a lot of things to discuss and uncover you know you have the setup your basic home app and all that so basically first of all what you're going to do to obviously start creating a proper sales funnel is you're going to go ahead and uh, have proper sales priorities and we're just going to go ahead click on design site and once you click on design site obviously uh to create a sales funnel i wouldn't recommend you know going with the ai even though the ai is pretty good but i'm going to go with my very own website and once you do that once you're over here let's go with a blank website okay let's go with a totally blank template start from scratch okay click on edit and here we are so once everything loads up i'm just gonna wait for it to render everything for me and once it does that obviously i'm gonna show you how you're gonna go ahead and create a proper sales page for yourself okay now to create a sales funnel you're gonna have to create three pages for yourself okay so first of all there's gonna be your home page which is gonna be your landing page in that landing page we're gonna add a we're gonna link that page to another page called sales page you know navigate it and then we're gonna create a product page you know because the landing page is gonna send them to the sales page and the sales page will send people to the product page so you know pretty simple pretty easy now we're just going to let them, you know, add the basic apps that we asked it to add in the start of the video. So 
once it's done adding those let's discuss more things in depth so here we are you know it's setting up our apps you know adding wix forms and payments so here you can see you can start adding elements for yourself so for this in this case obviously we're going to go ahead and add pages and menus as i told you and uh, you know this is your first page let's uh, as i said call it the landing page okay once you've created this page we're going to do done now here's your second page okay i'm going to delete this page right now you know purely just delete this out of it and once the page is deleted let's add another page by ourselves and uh, once you go on add page obviously you're going to get the option of uh, adding you know the different types of pages there's like tons and tons of different types so you're probably wondering what type do you want to add it just go ahead and add a totally blank page okay let's click on blank page and it's going to add a fully totally blank page and uh, once the page is added obviously you remember what i told you you're going to name it the sales page so landing page sales page and product page basically okay so this is the new page we're going to call it the sales page so rename call it sales enter and then obviously again add another page blank page and uh, once you're done adding that again same thing you're going to call it product page okay so this is going to be for your products enter and there you go so that's your product page and uh, that's where you're going to be showcasing and you know if not showcasing then obviously at least showing your products so obviously first of all comes your landing page and in the landing page you're going to add all you know your basic essential landing page stuffs okay and uh, obviously pretty easy to add that so you're gonna add you know contact forms for your landing page and you can find those contact forms in you know elements so in elements you have contact forms as so and uh let's say you know there's a just go ahead and pick a nice contact form that looks pretty good so i'm gonna click on that and once you click on that obviously it's gonna add that contact form according to your sections and look at that there's your very own contact form and lo looks like that so then obviously you can add uh, stuff like thank you for checking this out thank you for checking that out then obviously once you're done with all of this let's move on to our sales page okay you know that's all our landing page needs just a good contact form and then your there's your sale page where you can add stuff like before you go here is our full guide and then you can you know add a button and a button is something that people can use to redirect themselves so let's say i'm gonna add this button and uh, you know change the text and icon of the button so from uh, this to you know you can keep it to check it out okay just keep it set it to that and you know there you have the button and obviously above that button you can you know add stuff like hey check this out and stuff and that's going to be your sales page and from there you can redirect them to like hyperlink it obviously so we're going to hyperlink this to our product page okay and click on done and there you go and then obviously you're going to go to your products page and add all the necessary products that are going to be for your website and that's about it so yeah basically thank you for watching now if you were to go through again on how you're going to come to the wix website again just uh, go ahead and write www.websiteworldmedia.com slash wix and you should be good to go so yeah that's about it for this video uh if you found it helpful think uh drop down a like subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future please let me know down in the comments below and i'll make more for you but yeah that's basically about it thank you for watching and i'll see all of you next time goodbye